what recent um, collaborations have you done that stick out in your head that oh, you thought were great? Easy question. There was one that I saw the trailers just starting to pop out for recently. It's for Evil Angel. Um, Pat Mine shot it with Chris Diamond. Mm -hmm. um, and it was just the craziest sex of my life. Mm. And that boy has a big penis as well. Like it's not, sh it's not shying away from life. Mm -hmm. And um, it was just there was a lot of chemistry and connection between us, but I was also being railed so hard and it was so overwhelming that, like, the scene finished. Oh, and he came in my eyes. The cum shot was coming in my eyeballs. I just, like, kept them open. And wait, wait. He oh, came oh, in my whoa, eyes. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Hold on. Yeah. This was on purpose. Yeah. Had you ever had cum in your eye before? I mean, I've had it accidentally before, but so I never you know purposely. How, you know how much it hurts. It doesn't hurt me. That's the weird what? thing. What? It doesn't uh, dude, I got cum in my eye once <laughs> and it like it uh that was excruciating. My yeah. eye like swelled shut. It was horrific. Maybe my I don't know, my eyes seem to love it. Any and also Maybe I think Chris just has like magical cum. Probably. That's like I would really believe clean. that. Also, I think both eyes, I think when I get it in one eye, I can feel the difference more, but both eyes, it all felt the same. I couldn't see anything afterwards. It was all white. And I was just so overwhelmed because it was such a good sexual experience for me. I started crying at the end. So this this video is gonna come out and I just start like Did you cry the come out? Did that <laughs> it didn't go anywhere. I feel like the tears were Cry to come out, bitch. The tears were trapped behind the cum, so I'll look like I'm crying, but I'm not crying because my face is covered with cum. Like I just <laughs> What is happening? Right now? <laughs> it was the weirdest wow, feeling. Wow. It was great. That's well, coming soon. <laughs> coming soon to an eyeball near you. Yeah. <laughs> it was nuts. Wow. Okay, so okay, so at the end you're crying, but like is it is it like happy a, tears. it's a happy can happy. you tell it's a happy cry Cause yeah because i talk about it i was okay. like that was the best experience okay. i've had in a long time and okay. uh, probably ever and okay. i don't think i'll ever repeat that and chris and i have like a cuddle and it was really special it was very special sex it is very few things that can shock me. I feel a little bit shocked right now. And and I've me too as well, you know. And I've never cried after sex before. That's the yeah. first time in my life that I've been that emotional from what I just experienced that I just started sobbing like a little wow. baby. It was so nice. Yeah. Wow. So you held did you have to like hold your eyes open with your fingers? Or so he tried did, to, were you just like He tried to aim it in and like the first moment I I, you can't help it. I blinked of because course. it's like going in there. But I just angled my head back more okay. and just dripped it on in there. Did yeah. you know that you – was it – It I'm was a spur of the moment decision. Wait. Okay. So who made this decision? I think him and I both uh, – he suggested it, but – I was, I had the feeling he was going to go that way from the way that he was looking at me and he, the way he was poised over my eyeballs, it felt very different to like other people. So he, he asked if he could do it and I said, yes, I'll do anything. So yeah. Wow. It was hot. Wow. Was the director just like, what the fuck was that? Yeah. I <laughs> was like, whoa, that was nuts. Yeah. There, I think it's it's one of my I, I I will go to my grave so happy having experienced that. Yeah. Wow, that's amazing. That could have gone the other way too. Yeah. Like yeah, thank God sure. you were up for that. Well, but Chris and I have such good chemistry. Like yeah. we've shot together since for Pat again. Uh -huh. And there'll be another hectic I, I don't know how much I should give away because the trailer's not out yet yeah. for that, but it's it's gonna be just as crazy. Right. Like, there's just certain people that you yeah, get yeah, that yeah. extra spice with and he's one of them for me. Do you know what the scene is called? Because I know people are gonna be Googling this. Uh, I don't. Um oh it's actually it's under Evil Angels MILFs three, I think it was called. You're a MILF? Yeah. Yeah. So um, this is coming up a lot in, um, in um, like, adult DVD talk, like all the forums and stuff I've noticed. And on Twitter, people are starting to be like, how do you keep being cast as MILF? And I don't mind it because it's a fantasy and it's a hot fantasy to be able to mommy talk um, someone. But I'm, I could get cast almost all the time as a MILF. And, I, yeah, I find uh, that's my face as well when I first started getting it. Oh, wait, how old are you? 34. Okay, because you look so young. Yeah. I mean, you must know that. Like, yeah. you look, I thought you were 25. I've been told that, and it's my blessing. I hope it means that I'll have a nice long, because I came into this industry late, you know, like I started yeah. when I was 30. Yeah. So I'm I'm not coming in at 18 like a lot of the people here that are yeah. huge did. Um, and I think it's a blessing for me because I have the sexual maturity to do yeah. all this crazy shit and know who I am and know what I am and I'm not okay with, and then yeah. I look 
So are you grateful that you came in at 30? Like, do you think, because there's a lot of people that think that 18 is too young to get into porn. Yeah, I don't think I had the emotional maturity to deal with this industry before the age of 25. And mm. even then it would have been a push. I think I really knew myself by 30. Hey guys, if you want to support my show, then you should think about joining my Patreon. At my Patreon, I offer all kinds of amazing perks in exchange for your financial support. From live streams of my interviews as they are happening, to bonus Q&As, behind the scenes photos and videos of my shoots, plus cool merch like stickers, mugs, and hoodies, we have you covered. So go to patreon.com slash hollyrandallunfiltered, and while you're at it, make sure that you click that subscribe button so you don't miss a single one of my new updates.